Yo boys, what is good? Welcome back to the channel and we've done it. We've only gone and done it boys. I deserve a round of applause for the role I played in this and every other decent COD YouTuber deserves a pat on the back. Michael Condry is gone. He's no longer the lead of Sledgehammer Games and Glenn fucking Schofield has followed him and they've jumped off the fucking ship and you know I told you what all this cod cock sucking gets you boys. I told you. They were sucking that cod cock for goddamn years. Now they've got promotion. Now they work for the goddamn, the leader, the leader of the money whores, Activision. They've got new roles higher up in Activision. They jumped ship the first fucking chance they got. I said boys, I'm better for this community than the actual cod developers. I'll stick by this shit. They jumped ship. Higher paid job, they fucked off. They left Call of Duty, that, which they loved making so much. Clearly they didn't love making it. They loved making fucking money. Like I said, from the goddamn beginning, COD World War II was SJW shit to appeal to the most people and make the most goddamn money. They didn't give a fuck about the actual fan base like myself and like these other COD YouTubers which actually care. Yes, so all the hate I got was goddamn unjustified because shit boys, I wanted the best for the COD community, not the fucking worst, like Glenn Schofield and Michael Kirkuk cocksucking Condry. Right now this is this is a big one. The plan going forward, what do we do from here? A new person has took over Sledgehammer Games. I don't know his fucking name. I may embed it at the end of this video, but to be honest, I don't give a fuck. I think that studio is beyond saving. Most of them are SJW cooks anyway. The only studio which has a decent amount of talent left is Treyarch and their game's coming out this year so praise Lord Gaben if he has sway over Call of Duty at all, make it great, make Call of Duty great, make it great boys, we can't have another SJW shit otherwise that's it, I'm officially off the train, I'll never buy another Call of Duty again, never play another Call of Duty again but shit boys, it's been hard to digest this year's Call of Duty, it's been really fucking hard to digest with all the truth I was I was telling everybody I was saying the truth from the goddamn beginning from the first goddamn bullshit trailer they released without goddamn swastikas and with women Nazis and with black fucking Nazis that shit made no sense boys that shit made no sense no historical accuracy whatsoever the shit they promised they failed to deliver David Von der Haar you failed this year and shit I will come down on you like a sack of fucking bricks. We need a good Call of Duty to redeem the fucking franchise. Michael Condry's gone. The prayers have been answered. Glenn fucking Schofield's followed him. Thank fuck, fuck, fuck. If you don't like swearing, this is not the video for you. I'm happy as fuck boys. Because the two massive fuck boys who ruined what could have been a great game have left the studio. And now they're pawns to Activision even more than they were before. They've actually jumped to Activision. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine being that money hungry you'd want to work for that disgusting, disgusting company that all they care about is milking the consumer? Hopefully, the leader of Sledgehammer Games now, no idea what his name is, actually cares. It's a real, real long shot, but shit, if he does, that's good for us COD fans. We might get a decent Call of Duty in the next three goddamn years or shit. They might just put Sledgehammer Games back to a studio which helps Infinity Ward and helps Treyarch. And then we might get some good Call of Duty and some innovative ideas. Not just jetpacking motherfuckers all over the place or another World War II game. I don't want to play another World War II game, boys, I'll be honest. After they've fucked up COD World War II, I want a Vietnam game. Vietnam or modern day setting. But please, please, no Black Ops 4. No Black Ops 4. Please, please. That's, that's what I ask for. Please, please no Black Ops 4 and a decent COD without SJW shit. That's all I wanna say, boys. Another video will be coming out later regarding Call of Duty. This is just what I wanted to say on those two fuckwits leaving Sledgehammer Games. I'm sure, I am 100% sure they saw that COD World War II is a joke video that I did which hit half a million views. Somebody in Activision seen it. I'm pretty sure one of those two fuckers have seen it. I'm not saying that's why they left the goddamn studio, but shit, I hope they saw it and I hope they hated me as much as all the goddamn 8,000 people who disliked it. That's all I want to say, boys. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. And I kind of want to... I wanted to end the video there, but... Um, after making that video, I'd just seen 8 Thoughts video, Why It's Bad, Michael Condry. 
quit Sledgehammer Studios. Are you a dumb bastard? It's not bad at all. This silly prick thinks that Michael Condrey is going to be the CEO of Activision. I can now 100% wholeheartedly confirm he will never be the CEO. He does not have enough experience. All his experience has been pretty much shit. He's made a couple of games. In no way, shape or form does he ever become the CEO of Activision. And if he does, then gaming's fucked. But how he can say it's bad that Condry and Schofield have left Sledgehammer Games is absolutely hilarious. After all the moaning and standing up against them for years, then he cries goddamn wolf when they've left and wants them back. Eight thoughts, oh my god. You've got to be the most hypocritical Call of Duty YouTuber I have ever come across. You argue against Call of Duty for ages. Then when you get what you want, you seem to start crying again. I do not understand your points. You go, you goddamn crazy. And anyone who's watching this video, you've got to be fucking happy. Those two idiots have finally left Sledgehammer Games and we might finally go back to receiving some decent Call of Duties where Sledgehammer Studios is concerned, or Sledgehammer Games. They may, they may not publish games anymore, they may just help, which will be fucking so much better for Treyarch and Infinity War. Because Infinity War have gone down the toilet on the last game, well, the last couple, really. Treyarch let us down with just Black Ops 3, every single game they've made, apart from that's been good, at least. And maybe I'm just a naive bastard, I've still got some goddamn hope, as much hate as I've thrown Call of Duty's way. I still want the franchise to be good, it's one of my favourite all-time franchises, so... Let, let's be let's be happy that we finally got rid of two people we didn't want anywhere near making Call of Duty games. They've just fucked off to suck Activision's dick. Leave them to do that. Leave them to be the publishers. As long as they're not making the goddamn fucking games, I do not give a fuck. There'll be less SJW shit. That's all I want to say, boys. Thank you for watching the video this far. I'll have some new Call of Duty videos coming out in the next couple of days. I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video, boys. Peace. To go and try some coke And a happy ending be slit in my throat Ignorance to cope, man Ignorance is bliss Ignorance is love And I need that shit If I never did show Then I'd probably be a myth If I cared about the blow Then I'd probably be a jackass Don't give a shit what people talking about, fam Hey